Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really quick video talking about this hair um, and I just wanted to come and show you guys what it looks like. But I'm going to be showing you how exactly I fixed up this wig, how I styled it, how I made it my own. Because when it came to me, it did not look like this. It was a long, straight, blonde wig that um, didn't have the darkened roots or anything. It was just a basic blonde wig. Before I get into that, I just wanna talk a little bit about why I chose this color, how I came up with this color, and talk about the other wig that I've been wearing, which is not by the same company. If you guys are wondering, I am only doing Best Lace wig um, wig reviews from now on so if you guys ever wonder what wig I'm wearing I'm wearing a best lace wigs unit um, I wanted to kind of single out and do just one company because I was tired of doing hair reviews for all of these different companies and I feel like it was kind of conflicting you know there's so many different ones that you use which one do you really like I don't want to overwhelm you guys with options I know that you get overwhelmed enough with all these other companies that all of these youtubers talk about so I wanted to kind of stick with one and just let you guys know how I like all of their wigs and so far I've been having very good experiences with all of the Best Lace Wigs wigs that I've tried, so I'm sticking with Best Lace Wigs from now on. The other blonde wig that I have um, that I've been wearing pretty much non-stop, I am not a fan of like caramel, orangey, warm tone blondes. I don't like warm blondes at all on me. Golden blondes, they compete with my skin color and it doesn't help for my, skin's tone, my skin tone to pop. So what I've been looking for is like a muted, basic blonde, like a dirty blonde. No yellow, no brassy undertones, nothing. And what I love about this color that I'm rocking right now is that the blonde, it's just cool tone. There's no warm tones in it. This wig came in this box. I really like their um, packaging. It doesn't get bent up and beat up in the package when they send it to you. This wig is the SW140. The colors are number 11 and number 12 and the length on this wig was a 20 inch. Now the only reason why I got this wig the way that it was is so, is so that I can show you guys what it looks like if you get a stock blonde unit without having it customized. Because if you do get a wig customized, you have to wait like an extra 30 days for the wig to get to you. So I went ahead and got a stock unit that was this color and that way it would be sent to me really quickly I would have to worry about it taking forever for them to customize the unit and then I just dyed the uh, roots myself and I'll show you guys a clip of me dyeing the roots and I used color by Ion I used an Ion color in I think a medium ash blonde or something like that I ended up mixing that with an adore a bottle of adore 1B color and I only and the only reason why I mixed it was because I was scared when I first started mixing the medium ash blonde color by Ion it looked like it wasn't gonna be dark enough and I was kind of worried that the roots would not match my natural hair color which is kind of like a medium brown right now so I went ahead and mixed in a little bit of the 1B but it really didn't even need the 1B um, it actually got a little too dark so I didn't leave the color on as long as I should have and ended up just washing it out after like 10 minutes or so. Went through the hair and I parted it and I dyed the roots to this dark brown color. I didn't do a very good job dyeing right here as you can see. There's like some parts where I kind of missed the roots but for the most part it looks pretty good. You can't really tell. I washed the hair, blow dried it out. Wanted to do a medium length cut. I wanted to do kind of like right here. Unfortunately, when I was cutting it, I started too short and I was like, oh crap, I started cutting it too short. So I just went ahead and cut it all the way around. I wanted a blunt bob, so I went ahead and cut it into like a blunt medium shoulder length bob.
the front is longer it's only it looks a little shorter on this side just because it's tucked behind my ear but if I tuck this part behind my ear you would see that they're it's both the same length on both sides it's a little longer in the front than it is in the back and I'll show you the back and as you can see it is a little shorter in the back than in the front also not what I was going for but you know what that's how it ended up so yeah if you're gonna cut a bob and you don't want it to be angular and you want it to be the same length all the way around make sure that you cut it as straight as possible and you might want to scoot the wig back a little bit on your wig head or whatever you'll be cutting on and then cut the back straight across and that way it won't be as angular um, because once you put it on your head the roundness of your head in the back will push the wig out a little bit and so the back will end up looking shorter than the front but yeah so I cut the hair and then after cutting it I decided that I didn't like the look of it when it was straight so I went ahead and put some nice waves in it and I showed you guys how I did that as well I just used a curling wand and wrapped the hair around the curling wand like I always do and then I just finger combed through it This is what the results look like and I really like the way it looks curled because it kind of shows the dimension in the colors of the hair because the hair is two-toned. All in all I really like the results. I really like how it turned out. I still have my other long blonde wig but I was getting tired of that wig. It was tangling and getting on my nerves so I wanted something shorter for the summertime that I didn't really have to worry about like you know getting everywhere and it just flipping all over the place and getting tangled up in the back because the longer the hair is the easier it is for it to tangle so all of the information that you need about the wig will be in the description box if I didn't mention it in the video as well as a link to where you can purchase this unit the wig does not come with the roots dark just want to let you guys know that so if you did want dark roots you will have to dye them yourself if you buy the stock wig um, and if you're down for that that's cool if you're not um, you guys, when you buy lace wigs, make sure that you're getting what you want. Don't just buy something just because you see a YouTuber that has it. Before you buy it, you contact the company, you let them know exactly how you want it to be, if you're going to customize it, you know what I'm saying? You can tell them to make the roots dark if you want. Um, you have to really voice your, your likes and dislikes and make sure that you're getting what you want because when you spend a lot of money on something, you want to make sure that it looks the way you want it to look. But I love the quality of the wig. It is kind of a silky texture, but the thing about that is that if you were to get a yakky texture in a blonde, I feel like it would look really dry. So that's why silky texture probably works a lot better. Um, if you're wondering about my makeup and what I have on my face, I just recently got this bomb palette from Anastasia. It is the Maya Mia palette. And I don't believe that this is on sale anymore in regular stores. I believe the only place you can find it at this point is for a way too high price on Amazon or eBay. Or you can get it for Urban, Out Urban Outfitters. That's where I got mine. And these are the beautiful colors that come in the palette. Caramel, Warm Taupe, Sienna, and Aqua on my eyes today. So, you guys know I really don't wear eyeshadow, but I really wanted to get this palette because I love the colors in this palette. And then on my lips, I have Hover Lip Liner by MAC with Yash Lipstick. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay? Bye!